Amid speculations about um, good luck Jonathan decamping to the um, ruling All Progressive Congress to be their flag bearer, you know, a lot has been going on of late. Tension within both camps in the uh, PDP camp that uh, they are about to snatch good luck Jonathan from him. And APC denying on the other part that they don't have any of such um, intention. Good luck Jonathan himself has spoken up um, regarding his position, where he stands, and if he's going to make any move. And you know Nigerians have made it clear that um, it's going to be a total shame, a big uh, and, uh, betrayer. They are going to be so disappointed if he decamps to the All Progressive Congress. But guys, let's know that um, politics, there is no permanent friend, no permanent enemy. Um, a lot of personal interests involved in politics in our country. That is why we see that uh, we are not uh, reaping the dividends of democracy. You see people just um, openly, they, they know that this thing is not good, it's not working. They still join in to support and they still just claim just because of um, what they are going to cash out, what they are going to get at the end of the day. So for good luck, Jonathan, you know, um, the, the APC, what they've discovered is that they've known that Nigerians have got respect for good luck, Jonathan, you know, the former president. However, while he was president, you know, he got a lot of criticism that um, he was too slow, he was not uh, quick, he doesn't respond quickly, and all of the criticism he got, even from the opposition, the then opposition party, the All Progressive Congress and everything. But uh, when we started experiencing uh, Buhari's administration, we now knew that uh, um, Jonathan was really fair, was good, and Nigerians started throwing in apologies, they started telling him that, wow, we thought um, your administration was not good, but um, what we are seeing now, it's um, something else. And they started apologizing, and to the extent they were even telling him that if you are ready to run for 2023, we are right behind you, we are going to support you. And with that, APC has seen that um, Nigerians have got reservations for him. So they started uh, um, befriending Jonathan, visiting him in the, in the names of uh, in different guys. You know, politics, never they can never be uncertain. The more you look, the less you see. But anyway, guys, what we've got right now is that Jonathan himself has spoken up. He's assuring PDP his position. Let's hope that um, nothing changes because politicians, you never really, really can. Uh, uh, you never can know anything can happen. You know, if we check the people that have been decamping, I'm sure at one point in time, they've given their pledge that I will support this party. I will not move. I'll do this and I'll do that. But uh, uh, right now, what Nigerian even needs is not about PDP or APC. It should be a battle uh, between good and bad, right and wrong. That's what we should be looking at right now because these parties, they've actually failed the country. APC has failed. And you know, Nigerians still feel that PDP is not even, they are not going to be the savior. But however, is much much better than what we are experiencing right now we'll get uh, more details as to all that and um, good luck jonathan has just stated but before we do my beautiful people please guys don't forget to like share and to subscribe and also click on that notification bell please and um, click on the bell until it turns gray thank you once again yes let's get into the news now and grab all of the details the former president of nigeria under the people's democratic party pdp has given the party much hope as he vows that he would do everything possible and within his power to make sure PDP takes over the presidential seat come 2023. He made a remark during the meeting he held with the leaders of the PDP, including the former Senate president, Bukola Saraki. The essence of the meeting was to reconcile any disagreement between the members of the party so that they would be able to organize their house properly against the upcoming presidential election of which Saraki stated that the meeting yielded positive results. Though Jonathan had earlier debunked the recent rumor of the campaign to APC, he still used the medium of the meeting to stress further that he remains strongly in PDP and would always offer his maximum support for the progress of the party, maintaining that he is apt, putting his possible efforts to make sure that PDP recovers their joy. PDP, I think they are they, they don't want to wait to the last minute to before they see that um, they start putting their house together. So what they are doing right now, they are putting their house together. And these um, the speculations of good luck, Jonathan, the, the camping would have been something that would throw the party um, cause serious um, problem within the party and probably destroy their their force, the force with which they want to take over from um, APC. But this one is a good one. Let's um, trust Jonathan and believe all he has stated. You know, right now he has confirmed from his mouth 
that um, in spite of all of those speculations going around, this is his position. He's part of the People's Democratic Party. He's been part of the party for a long time. He has not decamped and is not intending to do any of such. You know, the speculations uh, um, rose because of his frequent visits to the villa, always meeting with President Mohammed Buhari. You know, that was why um, those speculations were coming in and also the PDP leaders that visited him on his birthday. That true um, PDP off balance. Anyway, APC, um, they denied any claims of trying to buy good luck jonathan over so jonathan what he has stated here is that he will do everything within his power hmm. that is interesting now you know um some persons are asking that if you have a lot of power if you have a lot of things to do how come um, um you lost out um in the election how come you lost out to apc but anyways um it, it, it looks like um what he's saying it's coming from a different angle most probably over time he has um he has understood the way politics is played. Maybe that's the angle he's coming from. Anyways, I think for PDP, the most important thing is that um, they get the support of Jonathan, that APC is not able to swing him over. You know all of the baits that they are claiming for North to return back to power. You know the plan, the calculated plan was that um, if they're able to buy good luck Jonathan over, he, Jonathan has just got one um, tenor to do because he's done four years already. So he's left with one tenor to do according to the constitution. So once he finishes that tenor, then they can now um, claim back presidency. You know, the North, what their plan is that they don't want to get their hands off uh, uh, um, ruling the country. They want to remain in charge. And they thought um, Jonathan was the perfect bait. He was the perfect one to use to actualize all of those their plans. So um, what uh, um, PDP is looking at right now, I think this will give them um, great comfort that he has made this statement and this position that he will do everything within his power to make sure that PDP returns um, to, to power in 2023. And also he has reassured the party that um, he's not moving anywhere, he's not going anywhere. So Saraki, Bukola Saraki, who is the Reconciliation um, Committee chairman, you know, they are also doing reconciliation as well. PDP crisis everywhere. They are also doing reconciliation as well to strengthen the party ahead of um, the, the election. Well, it's still politics in Nigeria. The question is, is it PDP or APC that we want right now? Anyway, let's hear your own take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please, guys, don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. And also click on that notification bell, guys, please, um, until it turns gray. So you can get all of our latest updates as soon as we upload. So I come your way again with more updates. Bye for now and God bless.